Hello, my name is Robert Kikuchi Ngoho, and I am a professional storyteller. I'm also the third born son of Jack and Dolores Kikuchi. Now, my father, Jack, or John Kikuchi, he too was a third born son of my grandparents, Nakajiro and Shizuko Kikuchi, immigrants to America from Japan. And this is a story of how they came here, and also later on the story of how and why we are going to Japan. So the story, to my knowledge, goes like this. Nakajiro was born on the island of Hachijo back in the 1870s. And it was a small island and he didn't really like it there because his stepmom was very cruel to him. So once he was old enough, he landed a job on the mainland of Japan where he did some kind of labor work. He attracted his boss's wife. And once the boss found out about this, he was like, I'm going to kill this guy. What the document says is that he was tied to a log and sent down a steep incline. He woke up in a semi-conscious state and the people who found him were like, you have to get out of here because this guy will kill you. Well, look what happened, Nakajito got on a Norwegian whaling ship and was hoping to get to America. When he was on the ship, it actually sank into the ocean. And he was then saved by people from the US Navy who happened to be nearby. Nakajiro, being the adventurous person that he was, and the fact that he could gain citizenship by doing this, decided that he was going to join the US Navy. Given his luck, this ship that he was on, called the USS Bennington, exploded. After all that, he decided to open up a barber shop in Vallejo, California. There's a couple stories, but the most fun one and the one that everyone seems to remember the most is the one where there was a matchmaker and uh, Nakajiro was initially paired with uh, Shizuko's sister, but there was some financial dispute and before he left, Shizuko said that she would go with him and become his wife because she always wanted to go to America. But before that, Shizuko worked, of course, in the palace uh, as a handmaiden and that was, that was a very nice job to have. Now, this barber shop that Nakajiro took Shizuko to was in Vallejo, California. And this photo that he gave to her, or that she somehow received through the matchmaker, was not his barber shop. And they went uptown to the white district in front of a white man's well established barber shop. Had his friends posed, and that little tiny Japanese man, Nakajiro, stood there pretending to be the boss of all those white guys. His barbershop was in the far less affluent side of town. So when Shizuku got off the boat and they drove down through this, this wonderful little town and she was blown away by it. And they kept going, kept going, and eventually the roads turned from paved to planks of wood in the mud. And then eventually from planks of wood in the mud to just mud. And finally they got to this one room shack kind of a house and so Shizuko had essentially been tricked into marrying this man with this pretty, you know, basic barber shop. And so, out of luck, there she was, married to this rascal of a man. And eventually they had eight kids. People all over every country are in lockdown or quarantine. But in America, something unique. Asian Americans are being attacked. 
I certainly am hearing a lot of stories. I just read a Facebook post of a friend who his, he and his wife were attacked by a motorcyclist in Pasadena um, who literally tried to run them over um, and shouting like Asians brought the virus here. So it's wild, it's very close. And we're in California where you would think, you know, you're used to seeing Asians. Actually, I went on a walk a couple of weeks ago and I was um, a, a water bottle, a full water bottle was thrown at me from a car. And, and as it drove by, someone like yelled out of the window uh, a, an Asian slur. And so initially when I got hit in the chest, I didn't think that it was a racist attack until I, I heard the um, words and actually took a minute for me to associate those two actions together to realize what was happening. I did some research and I realized that there's been over 1,400 attacks, verbal or otherwise, and including some deaths um, within the last month. And that's that's just reported. And I think that's pretty crazy that so many would, would be happening since the COVID-19 pandemic has become racist in nature. The Kikuchi family is planning this trip because uh, every, oh gosh, I think it's 25 years, someone has to go to the graves and pay and, and sort of take care of it to make sure that the, the ground is, is claimed and the family is willing to do that, right? Then, Because there's not a lot of ground in Japan. But I understand there is reason to go back to um, our actual home uh, like where our great grandfather came from for reasons of both like property and location and space and uh to do some real actual like logistical um you know name claiming <laughs> as it's on an island they exhume the bodies uh, if there's not enough room if there if the ancestors or loved ones have not visited within a certain period of time so basically that we have to go and say like we still are here we're still you know visiting this man oh gosh will they actually dig them up i think that if there's no one to claim the land and to say that and to pay the the rent i guess on them then i think it actually gets taken and given to someone else if it were just that that would not be my reason for going it's really because i can get to go with family we can talk about how you know what we all know and collect knowledge and share what we know about our families and get to know each other more and then get to know this land that uh we came from and uh, I'm really excited for that. We're going on this trip to pursue the age-old question, who am I and uh, where did I come from? Our pilgrimage will honor these original immigrants, for we are the progeny that is a reflection of the great diversity of America. Japanese blended with African-American roots, Japanese blended with European-American roots, Japanese with Southeast Asian roots. And we will honor those original immigrants, Nakajito, and Shizuko Kikuchi, who made the way to America to plant the seeds to unfold a great dream. I can't think of a better way to experience Japan than with my relatives, who many of whom I don't know very well, to experience this, you know, as a group of Japanese Americans descended from people who were in the United States during the incarceration of Japanese people in the United States. Um, I feel like that makes us even more distant from our roots. And so I am, would love to experience this with family, with people who like sharing our knowledge about our family and especially going to our ancestral roots in Hachicho in particular. In the last few years, our family coming uh, together in a more concrete way. I've heard a lot about us, yeah, taking kind of a, a moment to respect and honor our heritage together as a family and what the Kikuchi name means for, you know, um, this branch of or this tree, if you will, because of our ancestry and maybe despite it. <laughs> and so, once upon a time, Nakajito and Chizuko came to America and we will continue a great story.